in just a few minutes, too. The investigation continues right now into the crash of two of the military's elite jets within an hour of each other. We first told you about those crashes as breaking news right here on the now yesterday. Well, the first one had happened right here in Colorado, followed by a deadly crash in Tennessee with a Colorado connection. We have team coverage for you. Denver 7's Liz Gillardi in Durango, where she spoke with that pilot's parents in a Denver 7 exclusive. Let's start with the now's Todd Walker. He is live in Smyrna, Tennessee, with the latest on both crashes. Todd, this is unprecedented. Yeah, Teresa, both flight teams, the Air Force's Thunderbirds and the Navy's Blue Angels, have had crashes before, but to have them on the same day within an hour of each other is unheard of. Here in Tennessee, the Blue Angels, a team of six of the best pilots in the country, they're headed home right now with only five. Airplanes of all types buzz through the sky today, preparing for an air show this weekend in Tennessee, but one fleet sat quiet. During its practice run Thursday, a Blue Angels jet piloted by Marine Captain Jeff Coos crashed shortly after takeoff from the Smyrna, Tennessee airport. Coos died in the fiery crash. It is the first crash of a Blue Angels jet in nearly 10 years, but the second military jet crash in just one day. An hour prior, an Air Force Thunderbirds jet went down in Colorado Springs after flying over the Air Force Academy's graduation. The pilot ejected safely. Per standard procedure, the Thunderbirds won't be flying for a while. The cause of both crashes have not been determined yet, although some say engine failure could be to blame in Colorado. In Tennessee, Lori Hall was one of many who came to pay her respects. The sacrifice that he made for so many people and lives that he touched, you know, so thankful. And we wish uh, his family, you know, strength to make, make it through. She grew up watching the air show and her daughters wrote letters to Captain Coos. I hope you are fine. I'm very sad. I wish that did not happen. The show will go on this weekend, but without the Blue Angels, the elite team of six saying goodbye to one of its own. The nation has lost an incredible husband, father, son, Marine, and teammate. Truly one of the absolute finest Americans this country can produce. And you saw there the first time we have heard from the Blue Angels so far. They just took off a few minutes ago, headed back to their base in Pensacola, Florida. Only five of the six team members. Here in Tennessee, law enforcement has been blocking off a larger and larger area around the crash site, which now includes that park where the public was building a memorial there. We're live in Smyrna, Tennessee. I'm Todd Walker for the Now Denver. Hey, Todd, as we find out more about that.